Hello and welcome to Hire Automation, a podcast brought to you by Hire Robotics. I'm your host, Michelle Dawn Mooney. And today, a celebration of sorts, a 2023 year in review. I am excited to bring on three special parts of high robotics to talk about the last year, what's happened, and some really exciting things to look forward to. Rebecca Lenartz is Director of Marketing with High. Kyle Detweiler is Technical Sales Executive at High. And Will McGinnis is Technical Sales Executive at High. And I want to thank you all for being here. I can see that Rebecca and I got the memo. We are twinsies. Will did as well. Kyle, you still look good, but I mean, come on. You know. I'm just happy to be here. Usually I don't get included in these types of things. So <laughs> thanks, Michelle. We just wanted to address that right off the bat that, you know, it's not Let's get out of the way problem. now. That's right. <laughs> so where do we start? I mean, here we are. Hard to believe that another year has passed. So for each of you, I would like to ask you what the biggest highlight of the year was for you working at High. Rebecca, can we start off with you? Absolutely. So 2023 has been an amazing year full of successes. I think it all started off at Promat when our A42 T-Bot received the MHI Innovation Award. It was a huge honor um, just to be recognized for how our solutions are advancing uh, the, the warehousing and automation industry and all of our customers and all of the facilities out there that are looking to advance their goods to person operations. Um, it really energized the team, kind of set the tone and it was an incredibly fun night for all of us. Uh, we definitely celebrated and being up on stage was, uh, was really fun as well. So for me, that was one of our biggest highlights. And what about you, Kyle? Yep, you know, Promat really set us up for success, but 2023 wasn't without its challenges and I'm sure every company faced certain headwinds and I'm proud about, you know, how much ground and penetration high covered in 2023 when facing a lot of adversity. So, we were able to tackle and focus on different uh markets that we maybe didn't focus on before and, you know, have a couple wins there enough to keep us, you know, going till the end of the year. And will. Yeah, I mean, you know, to piggyback on Kyle, certainly a lot of different markets that we've been able to uh, penetrate into. A lot of opportunity. We've uh, we've been staying busy on our end. Uh, personally, uh, I had the opportunity to broker one of the uh, largest partnerships that I've had in my career thus far. So, adding uh, one more fantastic integrator to the uh, to the lineup of of great partnerships that we've been uh, so fortunate enough to uh, to have and work with so far from High. So, uh, it's it's all been good on our side of the camp here. And we have one more uh, message from our CRO, Brian Reinhardt, who wasn't able to join us today, but he definitely wanted us to put forth the me this message. So here comes the script. Um, <laughs> we saw multiple sales engineers, like our friends on the call, um, secure large projects and help many facilities advance with high robotics. We watched our leadership grow their divisions strategically and tactfully. And he loved our continued focus on our customers and partnerships, putting their needs first with a focus on solving their problems. Several of our American team members on the implementation team have stepped up and become mentors. Several have become leaders. And so many team members have their sights gone, have had their sights on success and gone the extra mile in putting in these, uh, what was needed for systems to go up quickly and easily for all of our customers. Beautifully said. Beautifully said. I felt like Brian Reinhardt was on the call with us right yeah, now. Yeah, you do it. You do a great Brian, Becca. Well done. Incredible. <laughs> Excellent, right? She really embraced that. So clearly, and and just from doing these podcasts with you all for I don't know how long now, it's it's quite personal the drive that you have individually to work for this company. We've heard that, but I want to kind of switch things up and talk about bigger picture when it comes to the highlights in American warehousing facilities in 2023. What's new there? What's happening? What changes have you seen in 2023? Yeah, great question, Michelle. So with 2023 being a tough year, we had to get a little creative on how we designed and luckily how robotics has the technology portfolio that lets us, you know, kind of break out of the norms of standard automation and take advantage of diversity that we we're seeing. So for us personally, we deployed our first ever double layered system. So we're using still our core flagship ACR technology, but running on the bottom level and the second level of a mezzanine storing over 130,000 totes um, using pairs of high ports, one of our propri proprietary technologies um, and decoupling both inbound and outbound operations. So it's a very special system, one that we feel is very unique to the market. 
Yeah, and Michelle, I would add to that, in addition to the uh, the system that Kyle is alluding to, we have another one that we have recently closed on, going to be implementing early next year, a uh, system with over 125 robots running through. So really maximizing the throughput, high density solution, very excited to get that one up and running. Uh, in addition to numerous other implementations that we're going to be coming to the market with next year, uh, over 100 robots on a couple of those. So uh, stay tuned for the announcement on some of those projects, but very excited for 2024 to get the ball rolling there. And we've brought some new ASRS systems to the market in 2023. So do you have any new systems or technologies that hit the market this year? Well, Michelle, funny you should ask. Uh, originally, when we had come to market with high robotics, we really had one defined way of handling autonomous storage and retrieval systems. Now this year, we've introduced a couple of different systems in ways that we can you know, handle all the product that customers are looking to store. Uh, first off is our system two solution, so that we call it, where we're utilizing our ACRs that are picking up to 32 feet tall, uh, the tried and true uh, bread and butter, if you will, from high robotics. But with this solution, we remove the bottom couple layers of racking and allow an AMR or pallet handler to, uh, to provide a storage solution for some of our larger packages, our amorphous SKUs, um, or our faster handling, uh, you know, triple A, double A SKU velocity movers. So uh, very excited about that application. It's, it's really allowed us to, uh, to explore a lot of different markets we previously wouldn't have access to. Uh, Kyle, do you want to touch on system three? Sure. Yeah, thanks, Will. Um, we do have one more solution that is was released in 2023 that I'm very excited about rolling into 2024. And to keep the naming convention simple, we call it System 3. Uh, this one is going to be our fastest, most dense, and most cost-effective solution uh, that we have seen within high robotics. And we're also very confident that it'll be uh, those things for our customers as well. Uh, so we're doing a couple unique things in terms of how totes are being stored historically. Uh, you have spacing from left to right and front to back with these totes when they're stored on a rack. We are introducing a grappling hook methodology to it, which allows totes to more or less create a chain. And with that type of approach, we're achieving density of you know totes that are five deep versus one or two deep, which is what historically we were with our other peer ACR system one solution. So pairing all those together, you know, I think it's really going to be uh, a phenomenal option for many customers moving forward, ones that are clearly defined on what they're trying to achieve and other ones that still need that same ACR flexibility but don't want to compromise on density and throughput. And Michelle, we feel like it's really important for us to have these new systems we're introducing to the market and we're already seeing the results here in North America where we're going to have 19 new facilities introduced using some form of this application. So by having those additional tools in the tool belt, we feel like it's really going to widen our scope and allow us to service a multitude of different customers in different markets. Well, let's talk about those results because, you know, they say the old saying is the proof is in the pudding. So were there any particular successes that you saw from your customers? So this is something that I had the great benefit of going out and talking to our customers about. I was able to do a lot of case studies. I was able to fly out and actually meet them and see the facilities for myself. This year alone, our customers have seen in the U.S. Um, facility capacity increased by 250 or more percent. Wow. Vertical storage has in, been increased for our customers 240 or more percent. Weekly throughput has nearly doubled with less staff per shift, allowing our customers to maintain more shifts for their facilities with the same amount of staffing. We have seen accuracy, picking accuracy increase to 99.9% .9 using our systems. Um, our facilities during peak season, one of our facilities for our customers um, that I was able to go out and talk to from peak season year over year, because it is the holiday season, they saw 174.6 more orders than the year before. So in peak season, they were able to flex up and get more orders out than the prior year using one of our systems. And these are just the stats from where I have personally been able to go out and talk to our customers. So really exciting stuff. So clearly things are working. And I know there are really exciting things on the horizon. I know you can't divulge maybe everything that's getting ready to happen in 2024, but what can you tell us about what you're looking forward to in the new year? Sure. There's definitely a lot on the horizon for us, Michelle. And one thing that I'm 
especially excited about is the growth and maturation of our partner network. So we covered a lot of ground in 2023. We had a lot of, you know, a lot of facilities be implemented and even more sold. But our partners are a critical element to the success here in high robotics. With us being a global company, we're able to really leverage that expertise and apply it at a regional level um, you know, with our partners that know the customer's operations so well, they know the industry so well. And the more tools that we can give them to Will's point, you know, the better we feel together we can serve our end customer. So uh, you know, continuing the education process with our partners, getting more wins with our partners, celebrating those wins is something that I think 2024 will be full of. Some great points but there by Kyle to compliment a little bit more. In addition to growing out our partner network, we're also growing out our direct team. So we're very excited at this stage. We have 60 plus employees, I believe, in the U.S. The roadmap is to do a lot more hiring and build out our local support uh, development teams, add some more resources on the sales and solutions side, and uh, increase our executive presence. So bringing in some of the top talent in the industry, uh, putting them in positions of leadership so they can continue to fuel and excel uh, this incredible team that we've already built up in the US. Uh, at this point too, I've, I just wanna give a quick personal shout out to our solutions team in general. So led by our esteemed director, Andrew Tolman, who is great at leading a solutions team, not so good at fantasy football, came up a little <laughs> bit short this year, but anyways, digress. The team has been fantastic, working late nights, constantly prioritizing the customer and making sure that we're in a position to service uh, our clients and integrators as great as possible. So. Um, you know, with that team and with all of the additions that we have on the horizon, we're positioned very well for 2024. And I'm I'm really excited for how far our team has advanced in the last year alone. We have so much, as Will was saying, we have so much local uh, support here in the United States, and we have 1,700 employees globally supporting our customers all around the world, um, which kind of makes me excited for in marketing our biggest part of the year, which is Modex, which is going to be earlier in 2024. Um, but this is where we're gonna be able to debut all three of our systems. Uh, we've been able to demonstrate uh, our system one, and we've been selling our system two and three throughout this year, but we haven't had the opportunity to demonstrate them publicly. So we're gonna have that there with five different robots, um, live and in person for people to see. We're going to have the two different workstations for everyone to see the different uh, types of workflows. And we're going to be hosting two different educational sem seminars. One of them is ASRS with no BS. Um, <laughs> you know, that was a great title from our content manager, Jess White. Um, but it, it is actually a great uh, seminar where we're going to have end users, actual customers who are using automated storage and retrieval systems for their automated goods to person operations. So you can hear from them on what it was like to update their operations using these systems. And then we're also going to be joining with MHI and several other um, ASRS companies for a, how ASRS differ from AMR solutions and where they can collaborate seminar where we talk about how these technologies are different and how they can collaborate together and the different pain points and different solutions they can offer. We're also going to have our um, driver and some of our team from our BattleBots team, Valkyrie, with the robot in our booth. So everyone can see that and we'll be raffling off a signed piece of the robot that was destroyed during one of the television show screenings. So we're gonna have that in our booth as well, but overall it's going to be a great opportunity to show everybody what the future of automation is going to look like um, in warehouses come 2024 and the future to come. Yeah, I wanna go. I mean, that sounds fantastic. And I love what you talked about when you said about the users being able to show people, because I think that is so important. I mean, clearly if you have the people who are in charge of and run or work for a company that handles all these things, you're going to be very knowledgeable and it's very easy for you to spout off what you know. But when you kind of take the other side of the user, it can be, you know, almost befuddling and a lot of questions there. So hearing from people who are actually going to hopefully be in their shoes, if they get involved with high, I think is, is just worth its weight in gold. So any final thoughts as we wrap up here, as we're wrapping up 2023 and we're wrapping up this podcast? I think 2023 has been an overwhelmingly successful year, not only for our team, and I am I cannot even say how proud I am of them, of Kyle and Will and everybody on our team, how much we have developed, but also 
how much we have helped the industry work, help the industry develop and help our customers succeed. I get an amazing sense of pride when I talk to our customers and they are raving about how we have helped them help their business grow, help their small business grow, helped them reduce their overheads. It's just the pride I get in, in what we do as a company because of how it's helping other people in other companies advance their operations and their careers. So I can't wait to see what we do in 2024 as well. Very well said. And I would say from Kyle and I, the feeling's mutual. Rebecca has been doing an incredible job on the marketing front. Kyle, any thoughts from you? It was a great, great end of the year. Um, again, our, our partners, our customers, you know, high is, high is nothing without those two. So it's, it's fantastic to continue to have the opportunity to serve both and have both of those entities trust us with their operations, trust us with their livelihood. So, uh, you know, cheers to a, an excellent 2023 and to an even better 2024. So thanks to everybody that, you know, helped us make, you know, make that possible. Really exciting year that we've seen and excited to see what the future holds for you. And I'm excited that you allowed me somehow to get befuddled into a podcast before the end of the year, because I really didn't see that happening. It's not a word we use very often, but just kind of popped in when we're talking about all the fun and excitement. So um, I can't thank you enough for being here. Rebecca Lenartz, Director of Marketing for High, Kyle Detweiler, Technical Sales Executive at High, and Will McGinnis, Technical Sales Executive at High Robotics. Of course, you can go to highrobotics.com for more information there. Thank you all for being here. Really appreciate your time. Congratulations on a very successful year and good luck for 2024. As I said, I'm really excited to see what the future holds for all of you. Thank you, Michelle. Thanks, thank Michelle. you. And I want to thank all of you for listening and tuning in to Higher Automation by High Robotics. And once again, you can visit the website highrobotics.com for more information there. I'm your host, Michelle Don Mooney. Thanks again for joining us. We hope to connect with you on another podcast soon. 